done. Come on in, please. Senator Bill Cassidy, Republican from Louisiana, who's joining us on the phone. Senator, continue this argument, please. We are... Uh, look, the president is saying Obamacare's here to stay. It is entrenched in our society. Do you think, you're a Republican senator, do you think you can repeal this completely, get rid of it, do you? The president, the president is going to be triumphant because the president is all about making this so interwoven it can't be denied. That said, <laughs> the fact that 37 states still have federal exchanges mean that they can still cast this off for something better. Now, if you mean, yes, the size of government has grown and that taxes are here to stay and that Medicare is now far more expensive than it used to be and that premiums have climbed, yes, all that negative may be woven in. But the fact that it is so negative means that when the American people get sick of premiums climbing by 60 percent per year, as they are this year in some states, or about 250 percent since the law was passed, and even more in other states, the American people have the ability to say that we want something different. This is not a prison sentence. It is something that the American people can change. Uh, it's a challenge politically. It's a challenge for Republicans because you've got to get together the votes and the will of the people to repeal this, and you've got to come up with an alternative. It's also a challenge for Democrats who now, going forward, Hillary Clinton in particular, must defend what is an unpopular health care system. It's a challenge for both parties, isn't it? Address the challenge to Hillary Clinton, if you will, because she's come out with a tweet saying, now we've got affordable and available health care to all. You can challenge that, can't you? Absolutely. You can say that there's still 30 million people uninsured under Obamacare. And most of those who are newly insured have Medicaid, Medicaid which pays physicians so far beneath their cost that studies show that those patients do not have access. They have the form of coverage, the, the illusion of coverage without the power of access. And if Democrats want the repeat of the se last several cycles in which their candidates have consistently lost, because their candidates have consistently stood up for Obamacare. Hey, I'm willing to take that. Throw me into that briar patch. But let's go to your first point, the challenge to Republicans. I actually have something called the Patient Freedom Act, which would give the patients the power, not an Obamacare bureaucrat. Republicans absolutely have solutions. We've advanced them. They're in legislative language. And I look forward to the debate over us giving the patient the power and they giving it to an Obamacare bureaucrat. I don't think there's much that legislation can do in the next 18 months because anything that passes the House and the Senate uh, would be uh, vetoed by the president. So you really do have to wait until 2017. And you've got to have a Republican in the White House if you really want to repeal this entire piece of legislation. I think you'd agree with that, sir. I would. The, uh, the president clearly wants the American people under his thumb. He wants there to be a mandate which, if the American people do not comply with, the coercive power of the federal government down upon them. That's his kind of sense of how government should run. I don't think that is the sense of the American people, though. Okay. And that is why I'm optimistic that there will be a change in 2016. Senator Bill Cassidy, I regret to say that I'm almost out of time, but, sir, thank you so much for being with us today. Again, it's a busy day, and we appreciate your time. Senator Bill thank Cassidy, you. Republican, Louisiana.